change financial year in this presentation we'll discuss about changing of financial year in busy in india usually a financial period is followed from 1st april to 31st of march so on 31st of march you are required to change the financial year in busy after changing financial year sometimes you also need to switch back to previous financial year and make some changes in the previous financial year entries and again carrying forward those changes and changed masters to the new financial year also in this presentation we'll discuss certain faqs along with their solutions basically the problems faced by users actually not problems basically the issues that they don't know how to resolve or how to make solutions for them in busy this particular presentation we have divided into three parts first is create new financial years second is switching between financial years that is making changes in previous year data and carrying forward those changes to new financial year after changing financial year most of the times need arise to switch back to the previous financial year make changes in the previous year data and again carry forward the data to new financial year and in the last section we'll discuss the faqs and their solutions so first of all we'll start with create new financial year at the top currently you are seeing the financial year is from 1st april 2017 we'll change it to the new financial year we'll go to administration change financial year new financial year from 14 2018 this option will select and this is asking you are going to start the process of creating new financial year click okay button now you can see switching financial year from 1st april 2017 to 1st april 2018 at the bottom you can see an option create new year only don't carry balances enable this option if you do not want to carry forward the balances basically if you are in a hurry and want to change the financial year without taking much time then you can enable this option and later on you can disable this option and then again carry forward the balances changing financial year takes some time if data is too heavy then you can opt to enable this option otherwise disable this option that is create new financial year with carrying forward balances this is asked are you using bank reconciliation feature click yes button if you are using the feature or click no button if you are not using the bank reconciliation feature so on the screen you can see financial year has been changed successfully you can see at the top the financial year is appearing as 1st april 2018 here we are going to account master modify mode you can see the list of masters is appearing from where these masters are appearing we have not created any master in this financial year these masters are certainly carry forward from previous financial year you can see the, all the details of the masters their balances and all now we'll discuss switching between financial years under this we'll discuss about making changes in the previous year data and carrying forward changes to new financial year you can see initially in the month of april many times a need will arise to switch back to the previous financial year make certain changes carry forward those changes to new financial year and again start working in the new financial year so we'll see how you can switch between various financial years first of all we'll see how you can switch back to previous financial year for this you'll again go to administration change financial year select the option financial year from 1st april 2017 this is asking do you want to switch back to previous financial year click okay button and you can see financial year has been changed successfully now we are into the previous financial year that is from 1st april 2017 here first of all we are adding a new account master we are adding an account master for icic bank suppose you have just opened an bank account on 30th march or 31st of march so you can create a new account master we are also modifying a party arshia enterprises we are updating its address earlier its address was not mentioned in the account master now we are modifying a sales voucher also here you can see currently 8 pieces are appearing it's by mistake actual the sale was made for 10 pieces so we have updated this sales voucher now we'll view the account ledger we'll go to display account books ledger option will view the ledger for arshia enterprises party here you can see its closing balance is appearing as 96048 rupees now we'll view the sales ledger sales closing balance is appearing as 83600 rupees now we'll change the financial year we'll go to administration change financial year option we'll select the financial year from 1st for 2018 option 
Here at the bottom you can see two options are appearing carry accounts full details and carry items full details like address registration description hsn code in case of item if you want to carry forward these details like address prices hsn code if you have made any changes in it then enable this option if you disable this option then any change made in the address hsn code etc will not be carry forward so we are enabling this option and then changing the financial year now in the new financial year you can see icic bank account is appearing this we have created in the previous financial year now we are opening urshi enterprise account in the modify mode you can see its opening balance is appearing as 96048 rupees which we have seen in the urshi enterprise ledger address has been updated next we are viewing the sales account in the modify mode here you can see opening balance is appearing as zero while previous year closing balance is appearing as 83600 this is because in case of revenue accounts opening balance is not carry forward opening balance can be different from previous year closing balance so we'll leave it as zero next we'll discuss how you can carry forward change pricing structures to new financial year for parameter and bcn wise pricing party item wise price discount structure item quantity wise price discount structure for this first of all we are going to the previous financial year now we'll go to the configuration party item price structure sales option here we are selecting the party is urshi enterprises now you can see the party item price discount structure as entered previously we are making changes in it we are making changes in the discount percentage and we are changing price of the item waste code also now click save button to save this price configuration we'll again go to the change financial year option here you can see carry items pricing info for financial year first for 2018 option is appearing and it's showing all those four option like party item price structure item quantity discount price structure parameter wise pricing bcn wise pricing will select party item price structure option here will enable the option create master if they do not exist in next financial year if you want to create the masters that do not exist in the new financial year but are existing in the previous financial year click ok button now you is showing the message that change pricing configuration is carry forward to new financial year now we'll again see in the new financial year the party item price discount structure it's showing the updated pricing structure now we'll discuss various faqs along with their solutions various faqs that we receive or that we get from our customers are how to carry forward pdc entries in new financial year how to restrict sub user from creating a new financial year why closing stock as shown in previous financial year stock status report is different from opening stock as shown in balance sheet of new financial year how can i update stock manually what to do in case party balance not carrying forward to new financial year previous financial year closing trial balance is not matching with new financial year opening trial balance how to import previous financial year closing balance as opening balance in a new company how to create a separate company for newly created financial year First of all we'll discuss how to carry forward PDC entries in new financial year PDC entries means post dated checks entries like if you have post dated checks entries in the previous financial year then how you can carry forward them to new financial year so first of all here we're switching to new financial year in the new financial year in the administration miscellaneous data entry option we are selecting the regularized PDC option and on selecting this option VC has asked would you like to carry forward PDC entries that are created in the previous financial year but belongs to this financial year click yes button then VC is asking you want to view PDC entries for one bank or all the banks we have selected all banks option and VC is showing the post data checks entries for all the banks on the screen next a very common FAQ is can we restrict a sub user from creating a new financial year the answer is certainly yes you can restrict the sub users from creating the new financial year for this you'll go to the administration users menu select the required user in the users profile you can see an option create new financial year is appearing specify no in this data field if you do not want this user to create a new financial year however this user can switch between the existing created financial years but cannot create a new financial year Next is why closing stock as shown in previous financial year stock status report is different from opening stock as shown in balance sheet of new financial year. Sometimes it happens that the closing stock of the previous financial year is not reflected in the opening stock of the balance sheet. 
we will show you this on the screen first of all we'll have a look at the closing stock of the previous financial year it's showing the value as 34000 rupees we will switch to the new financial year in the new financial year in the display menu we'll go to balance sheet and in the balance sheet you can see the opening stock is appearing as zero now we'll see why this opening stock is appearing as zero for this we'll switch again back to the previous financial year we are switching to the previous financial year now we'll go to the display balance sheet option here you can see update balance sheet stock option is set to no that is the stock is not updated for the month of march specify why in this data field that is we'll first update the stock for the month of the march now we'll go to the change financial year option we'll switch to the new financial year here we are coming to the new financial year now we'll open the balance sheet press the enter key on the current asset field then the on the stock in hand here you can see the opening stock is appearing as 34000 now the opening stock is similar to the closing stock of the previous financial year next faq is how to update stock manually that is you want to update stock manually and do not want to reflect it as calculated by busy then again we'll go to the display balance sheet option set update balance sheet stock to yes or no as per your requirement we are setting it to yes now press enter key on the current asset stock in hand and press enter key on the stock field here you can see busy is displaying month wise closing stock for each month you can see for the month of the march its closing stock is appearing as 31000 and we are changing it to the 33000 click save button to save the updated stock now we'll again switch to the new financial year we are changing the financial year in the new financial year we'll open the stock account in modify mode and here you can see the opening stock is appearing as 33000 rupees next is what to do in case party balance does not carry forward to new financial year sometime it happens after changing financial year previous years party balances are not carry forward to new financial year for this in the previous financial year select the update master balances option under the housekeeping menu run this option and then again come back to the new financial year change financial year and you can see your balances are updated next faq is previous year closing trial balance is not matching with new financial year opening trial balance for this you will go to the display menu trial balance and select the opening trial mismatch from previous year option this particular report will show you the reasons for the difference in the opening trial and the closing trial of the previous financial year next is how to import previous year closing balance as opening balance is a new company for this you'll go to the administration data export import export data masters option click select all masters option select closing balances specify date as 31st march 2018 specify the file part that is the file where the data will be exported and click the export button you can see this is showing a message data is exported successfully now you will come to the newly created company here we have already created a company with the name smart clothing we'll open this company we'll go to the trial balance here you can see the opening trial is blank that is currently there is no data in this company now we'll again go to the data export import import data option first of all you will specify the file part that is the file in which you have exported the data then click the okay button select the update opening balances update other information options and click the import button this is showing that company configurations are not matching that is both this company's configuration are not matching click match company configuration option and here you can see that this is showing the message data is imported successfully now we'll again go to the display trial balance option and here you can see it's showing same details as we have exported from the existing company you can see the balances also you can see a new entry for pnl also so in this way you can export and import data from one company to another company next faq is how to create a separate company for new financial year that is you want to create a separate company for the new financial year that you have created for this we'll go to the company menu and select the split financial year option select the company and then specify the username password and we'll select the financial year 2018-19 option 
Here an option after splitting delete above financial year from source company is appearing enable this option if you want to delete the financial year from the source company that is once a new company is created this particular financial year will be deleted from the source company click split button to split the financial year we'll again come back to the companies menu and here you can see in the list of companies a new company with the same name but the financial year that you have split it is appended with it this way you can split a financial year and create a new company for it so in this presentation we have discussed about the creating of new financial years switching between the financial years changing data in the previous financial year and carrying forward changes to the new financial year various faqs and their solutions Hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily create a new financial year and work in it. Thanks for watching. For more videos subscribe to our YouTube channel.